In this video, we are starting with functions and relationships by looking at how to determine output values. A function is the relationship between two sets of values. The starting values are our input values, and on those we then apply the function to determine the output values. The function can be described or given to you in different ways, either in words, or in a flow diagram, in a table, or as an equation. Here we now have four input values, minus 1, 0, 1, and 2. And the function is described in words as multiply by 3 and add 2. To determine the output values, I have to take the input values one by one and apply the function. So if I start with minus 1, I will multiply this minus 1 by 3 to get negative 3 and then add 2. Negative 3 plus 2 will give me an output value of minus 1. Next, I will take the input value 0 and multiply by 3 to get 0 and then add 2 to find my output value of 2. Next up, I will take 1 and multiply by 3 to get 3, and when I then add 2, I will end with 5. Lastly, taking 2 and multiplying by 3 will give me 6, and when I add 2 more, I will get an output value of 8. Very often we also use symbols, and mostly the input value will be x, and the output value y. This same function can also be given as a flow diagram. Here we will indicate in the diagram that you have to multiply by 3 and then add 2 to determine your output values. Or we can even, as I've mentioned, make your input values x and then indicate that x has to be multiplied by 3 and then 2 needs to be added to get y or your output values. Then the information can also be given in a table where your input values or x values will always be in the first row and your output values in the second row. Our input values were minus 1, 0, 1 and 2 and we determined the output values as minus 1, 2, 5 and 8. In this table can also be given that to determine the y value or the output value it is 3 times the input value plus 2. Lastly, the information can be given as an equation or formula, and that is what we just saw in the table. This equation or formula will then be that y, the output value, can be determined by 3 times the input value, or the input value multiplied by 3, plus 2. The list of input and or output values can also be given in a different way other than a table. We can list them by saying x is an element of and then indicating a list with curly brackets. Now listing my input values will be minus 1, 0, 1 and 2. I can also list my output values in a similar way. Example 1. Determine the output values in the given flow diagram. Here we are given the function as 9 times the input value minus 2. We can determine the output values by substituting each input value. So I'll start off by substituting x with minus 2 and that will give us an output value of minus 20. Then we also need to substitute minus 1, 0 and 1. If you are familiar with number patterns, you would realize that this function is a linear number pattern and the 9 indicates that there is a constant difference of 9 between consecutive output values and when you have a look at the output values, you can see that we have to add 9 every time to get the next output value. Example 2. Complete the table below if the formula for determining y is given as y is equal to 
three times the input value plus one. Once again, I will determine my output values by substituting the input values one at a time. First off, I substitute minus four, and this will give me 12 plus one, which is 13. Now we continue like this by substituting negative 2, 0, 2 and 4 to determine the output or y values. Example 3. Determine the output values that will be obtained if the formula y is equal to a half x plus 2 is applied to the input values of x is 1, 2 and 3. Once again, we are asked the same question, but in a different way. The formula for output values is given as a half times the input value plus 2. So by substituting, we can determine the output values. Our first input value is 1, and then we'll have a half plus 2, which will give us 2.5. Next, I will repeat this by substituting 2 to get 3. And then I'll also substitute in 3 to get a value of 3.5. So now we can also list our output values as 2.5, 3, and 3.5. Three and in the next video, we are going to have a look at how to determine the input values as well as the formula or equation.